Welcome back everybody. Welcome if you are new. Today we're in the 305 Sprint Cars here at Lima Land. I don't think I've ever actually ran a race in these cars at this track because this track's really weird to me. I usually do either really well or really bad. I don't know how it's going to go, but uh, top two guys in practice ran a really quick time. Fastest I've ran so far is an 808, so I'm hoping I can get into the mid 8s or lower 8s again. That'd be great. Getting down into the sevens is really fast. But by the time we get to the end of this race, we'll probably be running up by the wall anyways, because once the bottom gets worn out, the top is really fast. So hopefully we can keep the car pretty straight, try not to lose too much momentum through these corners. Try not to take them too tight. Seemed like a pretty decent first lap. All right, I ran a 767. Fastest I've ran so far. I'll take it. That's definitely the right time to run your fastest lap, for sure. Not bad, not bad. What was second lap? Second lap was an 804. Okay, that's more what I expected was like a low 8. Or a higher 8 or mid 8, like I did in practice. But 2 car ran a 699. That is absolutely flying, man. Holy crap. We beat out the 3 car who ran a good time in practice. The 5 car, did he hit the wall or something? Okay, uh, he just ran a 7. So he ran a 7.44. He beat us out now. But uh, so far, we are third. I'm not that mad about it. Uh, at least we'll be somewhat up front. And still a few people left to qualify. So I'll pick it up and get ready to go green. All right, qualifying's over. We stayed in third, which isn't that bad. It seems like the top two guys, they ran the high side for their first lap to get as much speed as possible. Because both of their first laps were in the 12-second range. So they definitely ran the top for that. And then just ran bottom the second lap, obviously. They got a lot of momentum going into that lap, which was smart by them. But we got a 14-car field. We are car number one, which is terrifying. This kind of a small track, small-ish track, and 14 cars could be a decent amount of wrecks here. But there's no caution, so I think lap cars are definitely going to come into effect here. It's going to be very interesting, to say the least. Hopefully we can stay out of the mess. But if you guys enjoy this kind of racing, hit that like and subscribe if you want to see some more. Trying to get better in these things. I don't think I've ever ran them here like I said earlier. So I'm really interested to see on how this race goes. Because for some reason, in like like back when I used to race the Pro Late models a lot, I wish they had a fixed series of that. That's my favorite car. But I haven't ran those in so long now. It's probably been a couple years. Um, I wish there was a fixed uh, set of those. But I remember I used to really suck here in that car. But it's such a fun track. You can have a lot of really good racing. But I hated this track because of the fact that I, I like to race it in my favorite car and I sucked at it. Might have been because of the setup as well. Got a little sideways there on the exit. Had a really good jump onto second place. Don't know where the leader went. The two car has disappeared. So. We are battling the five now for the lead and the three. That's unfortunate for the two. Don't know what happened to him. They're getting a little bit more momentum on that higher lane. Off these corners. It's tough when you don't have the room to go out to the wall. Like, the way to pass is definitely on the outside of this track. But if you can go low and go all the way out to the wall like we do in qualifying, definitely the quickest way around right now. Just got to be careful not to smack the wall. It's very easy to do at this track, especially when you start to run the high side later on. The middle is kind of like a little bit banked, not very banked at all. The top has a little bit more banking. Three cars trying to go all the way up there, find some speed. We definitely caught him there some. I'm going to try to go where the grip's at some and not go so low. I feel like it's so loose down there. I want to try to keep some momentum up. That three car might hit the curbing down there, like the little tires they have planted down there. We gotta watch out if he hits those. I'm surprised there's been no lap cars yet. I thought for sure there'd be some wrecks real early on. It really sucks what happened to the two car. That he just disappeared going into the first corner like immediately. Don't know what the hell happened to him. But that's super unfortunate. Because obviously he was super fast and... There he goes. Server finally disconnected him. Um, he was super fast in qualifying stuff. Okay, I'm going to go even higher now because I know I can run like low nines at the top if I get my groove of this. You can definitely run pretty fast up top of this track. And you keep a lot of momentum up 
going through the laps. But the bottom's starting to get a little bit worn out. I'm just trying to use the banking to my benefit. And I don't really have anybody catching me that hard. Got a wrecked car. He's upside down. You pity, man. Yeah, you don't say. You're upside down. <laughs> Luckily, everybody avoided him. It's so easy, though, to just come off one of these corners a little too straight. Mainly off of this corner for me. It's like off of one and two. Oh, no, not this corner. It's off of one and two for me. I thought we were in one and two, to be honest. But this corner for me is usually worse when I come off the corner. It's easier to smack the wall for some reason. I don't know what it is. Fairly skimmed it there. <laughs> Thought I was going to climb it for half a second. But we're kind of keeping up with these guys now. Now that they're like kind of battling more. I'm trying to get as much momentum as I can. Running mid nines, not bad. Kind of what I expect to run up top. I'm trying to not get too close to that wall and get sucked in by it. Because there's a really big curbing at the top, like a lot of a berm. And if you barely go over it, you're going right in the wall and just riding it for the corner. And it would suck doing it in one and two especially. Because the wall doesn't get attached all the way around off of turn two. So if you hit that opening off of turn two, it is really bad. But so far, we've all kept it clean up here. Oh, as I say that, the five car kind of messed up. Three almost got into him. Super close to that happening. He checked up though, which is uh, nice. I think he might throw a slider here on the five. He is. And I'm coming right back into frame. Let's see if we could do anything in this battle here. 10 laps to go. I really don't want to throw a slider. I want to stay on this high side. Oop, three cars in the wall. Oh, he's still in the wall. That slowed me way up. I, I screwed up a lot, but the five car threw a slider, so he slowed up a lot too. Three car fell so far off. That sucks. That's what happens. You cannot get stuck in the wall. It, it is a detriment getting stuck in the wall. Let's see if we can do anything about this though. Try not to go too hard, about slap the wall. I went too hard in that corner. I'm really bad at throwing sliders at this track. <laughs> this track's like hard to throw sliders at for me. I don't know why, for whatever reason. It just goes up the track so quickly. Five laps to go, nice okay, can I catch him in those last five laps? I hope so. Cause I tried to make a move really early. It didn't pan out, so I got a lot of time to try to reel them back, and I am reeling them in a little bit. Oh, wall. That scared me. Thought I was going to get in the wall there. My checkup for almost hitting the wall has cost me a little bit of time. I was starting to catch them. don't think we're going to quite get there unless this lap car really gets in his way. Or another lap car wrecks or something. But a good race overall. There's a slow car up top. Nope, he's down low now. Good win, good race. Don't know what happened to the two. He got disconnected. He like blinked out immediately, which sucked for him. Three car got stuck on the wall. And we got by him like that. You did a good job there. That was a tough race though. Very tough race. I'm happy with how I did. We started third. Really would have probably finished third if the three didn't hit the wall. But you never know because they were really battling and I was catching them hard there. But that was a lot of fun. You got your radio on there, Freddy? Yeah, we're in pit stall. Calm down. I want to go back and see that battle between the three of us. Because they started throwing sliders back and forth. Go up to them, go up to the three car and see what happens to him. Because he threw a slider. I think he was just running the top. Or I think he threw a slider here. And he might have tapped the wall. No, he didn't tap the wall there. Where did he tap the wall at? Trying to find it. He had a good run there. 
goes low slides really hard up scrapes the wall there oh he went more up on the wall than it looked like it like i think when he was in front of me he didn't go completely on the wall like that he was just kind of riding it i think that's all i saw from the back and never saw him get sideways where he was still on the wall i barely missed him i really checked up to miss him because i was catching him really fast like leading up to that i was really catching him did the, the chopper cam is so janky when you're going between laps <laughs> But you can see how far back I was and how quickly I caught them. I was running the top pretty well at this point. I'm really happy with how I did because this track's either very hit or miss for me and did not know how it was going to go in these cars. But I feel like I started going high like early on, maybe a little earlier than needed, but it really worked out for me overall, I feel like, because it got me in, in more of a groove for when it got more worn out. It was a lot of fun. It was a very good race. Yeah, I thought the three car was going to end up keep going. So it really messed me up. I caught the five car right back up to him. And then I think I threw a slider here really badly. I got super low and I was going really hard up to the wall and just got super sideways and never really gained the traction back from that. Let's go back to the very beginning. I had a pretty good start, got sideways. Two car already blinked out right there, which was really unfortunate for him. I was trying to keep as much momentum as I could off these corners so I could try to get the lead. But they were running that mid lane and the outside is just the way to pass at this track because if you're if you're getting pinched on the bottom You can't come up off the corner. It just loses so much uh, speed off the corner. It sucks So the five and three ended up getting around me, but it was a good battle for a few laps there Very good battle for a few laps It was just good clean racing up front uh, Let's go back see any incidents that happened through the race lap three I don't know what car ended up upside down. Eight car tapped the wall there, and he's fine. Seven and nine, kind of a little bit of net code. Seven was a little low, nine was coming up off the corner. I think they're both just going for the same spot on the track. Kind of this, uh, no, I think the seven really slid up there. I, think, I thought it was gonna be the same kind of thing, but nine car goes a little high. Seven car goes in, but then slides up mid corner. Like the nine's kind of just keeping that same line along the edge of this. And the seven kind of slid up on the bottom, which sucks at this track when that happens. He's the one that ended up upside down. And yeah, he said pitted in when he was upside down. It was kind of funny. There went the leaders. The 14 car is going to get in the wall. Nope. Blink. Okay. He blinked. That's fine. I think this is where the three got in the wall. Uh, my race almost ended from that too. Like I nearly got in the wall. Or I almost got into him, which would have been really bad. Barely missed that. Four car really riding that outside really fast. 14 just got a little tight off the corner, went straight into the wall. That four car is up on that berm. Like, that was about as quick as you can go around the corner, I feel like. I don't think there's really an incident there. I think the eight checked up in time. Probably like the tiniest bit of net code. Seven car is super fast on that outside, but then slammed the wall off of the corner, off of two. That's what I was trying to avoid. So easy to do that right on that opening. 12 car went flipping after hitting it. It's so bad when that happens. I think his car was screwed from that too. Uh, but that's the end of the race. So that was a really good race. Very happy with how it went. Uh, was able to battle for the lead the whole time for the most part. And had a really close one. I wish I was a little bit better at throwing sliders here. But it is what it is. I need to work on that. But uh, finish second. Should gain some my rating. Let's go see what we end up getting. All right, results in strength field, field nearly 2,200. Uh, two splits like I thought, because there was about 27, 28 people that registered. Three car actually had the quickest lap of the race. I had, what, fourth fastest, because the four car had a really fast lap. But at lap 21, he ran at 844. That is flying. That was probably right when he was up on that edge, just ripping it around the edge, and he was super fast. But uh, we gained 27. I'm very happy about that. Two car got screwed out of this, I feel like, because... As soon as the race started, he disconnected. I don't know what happened to him. Like, his internet shit out or something. I don't know. He lost a ton of I rating, which sucks. You hate to see it. But uh, what was the lowest in this? Number 14. Just about 1,400 when the race started, but a good gain by him overall. But overall, it was a fun race. Five and a three. Great battle between us. Three car just messed up one time and lost a ton of ground to us and wasn't able to get it back. I messed up one time really bad to the five car with about six, seven laps to go, never gained that completely back, which was unfortunate. I actually thought I led the first lap. That's unfortunate too. I thought I led a lap, but I did not. Three car actually led a lap though, nice. But uh, overall, fun race, almost back up to max safety as well. Uh, that was about as clean of a race as you could have up front. The seven car was struggling. It seemed like he had 12X. He was close to DQing out, very close. 
But uh, oh wait, he did DQ out. He disqualified. Never mind. I thought it. I thought it was like um, sixteen or seventeen for the DQ. But I think that's on the oval side. But uh, this race went a lot better than I expected. I actually ran a quicker time in qualifying than I expected as well. Ran pretty smooth and never hit the wall. Actually, I scraped the wall once, but it didn't show up on the incidents. So I barely scraped it. Didn't really do anything. So very happy with how that went. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the race. Let me know if you guys did this race this past week or earlier in the week and how you guys did. Hopefully you guys got some wins. Let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one.